that was our first statue that we did with the Bible holding it up as the protesters, black BLM protesters were being beaten. And it was a statue-like moment, it was a defining moment of his presidency. And the fact that he was out protecting statues in such a way, uh, you know, with soldiers and with uh, Homeland Security to protect statues, well, we're going to give you statues that you're not going to want to look at because you're looking at yourself. Well, the first thing I was thinking was, what is this? Until I read what it was, and I'm like, oh, it's a display. And then I'm like, I get it when you guys say relic. Like, he's more worried about this statue that's not alive than the people that are actually alive. That's all I could think. Yeah. He's more concerned about this than the people watching it. I think he's he's harking to the past the minute he stepped in the White House, you know, make America great again, you know, going back to a past. Hmm. And in essence, you can never go back. You are a relic the minute you go back. You have to think forward, you know, and adjust to the changes. When you look at these statues, you have to assess, are, are these terrible moments? Or are these moments I approve of? And basically, that's what we're pushing out there. And it's very interesting, you know, we have many, because we've been out now for a couple months and we've had Trump supporters actually sit there and support the actual the poser and look at the top part going, this is great. Because they don't bother even reading the rest of the statue and this is who they are, right? We had people there yelling at us today that this never happened. Literally said, that's a lie. And you're like, what is a lie about? It? So again, generating those conversations. I've had Trump supporters say they want to rip them down. They go, you can't rip them down, they're people. And I've had Trump supporters say, you should spray paint over those things. And you go like, they're already spray painted. So you can't really hit us on that one either. Vote is why we did this. You know, go, turn out, vote, bring change. Uh, this is why we're here.